Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. I'm just here to pop down our card for today, Friday, and a couple of cards for the weekend for us. So I'm just going to have a shuffle of this black and white Faulkner deck and see what we get for today and for the weekend. So, our first card is the Lovers. Fantastic. So, the Lovers is a great card. It's um, one of the major arcana cards. So, it talks about kind of important events in our lives, the, the major arcana. Uh, the major arcana is, is this whole big journey, you know, that the fall starts with and goes through to the world. So, the Lovers, you know, kind of does what it says in the tin a little bit because it is about love and it's about passion um, but it is also about choices. So you may find that you have some choices to make today. When this card comes up, it can be about that. It can also be about like the start of a partnership, the start of a relationship. Um, you know, as you can see in the image, the, the couple are together and they're ready to walk up this hill. And, you know, sometimes when you look at that hill, that looks like quite a steep hill. Sometimes when you look at it, it all looks almost flat. I kind of feel like when I'm looking at it today, that it is, it's kind of somewhere in the middle. It's not really, really steep, but it's also not completely flat. You know, sometimes the earth there looks like it's really rough, sometimes not so much. I kind of feel like this is a bit middling. So it's almost just like, come on, let's just go up this hill. Um, it's achievable though, you know, this is not a mountain that we're looking at. This is a pathway. There's a clear path there. There's not, we're not looking at, um, oh, I just really don't know. You do have a choice to make, but it is not something that you can't make a choice on. The, um, the, the cards very clearly show that there is a path here and it's very clear your direction. So you have to make that choice whether you're going that way or not. Um, you know, cards can only ever guide you and sort of show you what your options are and draw your attention to things. They can't pick for you. They can't choose for you. So, you know, it's really important that you stay as you in charge of your own destiny. So that's a really important thing when it comes to the lovers, because the lovers says it's your choice. You choose. Um, you make that choice. You make that journey. So. You know, you may find that there are some things that you need to have a look at this weekend and make a choice about them. Um, but also there's love here. There's love, there's passion, there's all that stuff that comes with the lovers that's that kind of heated sort of um, energy. You know, it's quite fiery, the lovers card, I think. And it, it's just very, um, you know, you want to move forward and, and there's passion there. It's also drawn to the number six and the number six is all about the home the family your partner all of that kind of thing so um i feel like i'm looking at a weekend or days and weekends energy that is about that you know what you love what's your passion um is your passion at your home life is it your family you know is it your partner is it your pets it doesn't matter what it is it's about following your passion and about being able to do that so I'm going to pop down one of these gateway oracle cards um, today. I've been using these a little bit um, for myself lately. I haven't used them on the um, on the video, um, on the readings very much here. But I thought I would add it in for the weekend. So let's have a look and see. Excellent. Somebody on Periscope just said their passion was pickled eggs. So yeah, you go for it if that's your passion. It doesn't matter what your passion is. If you like pickled eggs, you have those pickled eggs. So let's just um, have a little shuffle and see what we've got going on with this gateway oracle. See what the card is for us there. There we go. We've got loads of energy in these cards today. They don't seem to want to shuffle very well at all. We're very jumpy. That's the lover's energy for you. That's the passion. So let's have a look and see what we've got here. Okay, so this is the Awakening Ancient Wisdom card. So this is our 
inner wisdom, like our knowing, our inner knowing, what we know within ourselves, not what we've necessarily taught ourselves, not what we've learned from being here this time, but the stuff we've brought with us with in spirit. So, you know, I don't know what you believe. It doesn't, I don't really like to preach what I believe too much because, you know, believe what you want. Um, but I kind of believe that we come here um, a spirit that is enjoying a physical experience so we will have had a life in spirit before and we come here to have this physical life and then when we're done with it we go back and have more spiritual life and I think we might come back a few times as well and you know I don't know about that and let's be honest none of us are going to know about that until we go so you know who's to say um, but this wisdom is the ancient wisdom so it's the wisdom that we bring with us stuff that we already know when we get here um you know you think about it we arrive as babies and we know how to breathe in and we know how to breathe out and you know we start to know things and there are things that come with us that we're not really taught you know things like all the ancient archetypes and stuff like that we automatically kind of know um what these archetypes are you know you have the 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 old wizard and everyone recognizes what an old wizard is you don't need to be told that that's a wizard we recognize it it's almost like we bring it with us if you have a look at the work of um carl jung um he talks about that you know he talks about the collective unconscious what we know what we already know as as a race as a human race as as people as spirit that have come here um it's all about that so in connection with this cards the ancient wisdom card appearing with the lovers says to me you know what your choice is you know the right choice for you you know what you need to know so you know if you feel like you have a choice that you need to make you know that you can make the right choice trust yourself you have this ancient wisdom that um, will help you to make the right choices for yourself Sorry, just having a little quick swig of my tea. So to go with that, I'll just pop down one more. Um, I'll put down one of these mystical shamans to go with these two, just because it's the weekend. So why not have an extra one? Um, and let's treat ourselves. Let's have a little look and see what the mystical shaman has got for us. But yeah, I, I love those um, gateway oracle cards. They really are so so beautiful um and go really really nicely they really complement the form of tarot deck i think really well so let me just have a little shuffle and I'll put down one of these mystical shamans oh we've got wild woman never had this one before morning thank you for watching on periscope so we've got the wild woman card now as you know if you've watched my stuff before I've only just started to work with these mystical shaman deck so um, and the shamanism is very new to me so I'm not 100% um, on all of the meanings on all of the cards for this like the book meanings so what I do is I work intuitively anyway so it doesn't really matter what the book says I can interpret what there is there and when I look at that I kind of look at this woman who is you know she's looking up she's looking at the sky she's ready to go off and achieve what she wants to achieve there's all this all these things growing out of her head like this knowledge um so I'm back here again with this ancient wisdom um when I look at her she, you know she is obviously she is wild it says she's a wild woman that to me is saying don't necessarily restrict yourself um and i've just had a you know an, another thing that i do where we've been talking about that um exceeding expectations and all of that i'm not reading anybody in particular this is a general cards for the day and for the weekend it's it's just a general overview of the energy of where we're at now it's not a personal reading for anybody this is just for everyone so i'm just going to have a look in the book and see what colette baron reed says about this wild woman um because as i say these are very new to me and also it's um it's she says when she's saying to look at these um cards to refer back to the book because different things will jump out at you so i'm just having a little hunt around in the book sorry being a bit rubbish and slow um there we go here's the wild woman 
Let's see what she says. Um, when the wild woman dances into your reading, she reminds you of the essence of authenticity and freedom. Um, divested of all social constraints and cultural conformity, the wild woman holds up a mirror to your essential self, the true essence of who you are and who you were meant to become. So again, we're back in this ancient energy, you know, who we really are is what we bring with us. It's not necessarily what we learn while we're here, it's what we bring with us. She's a reminder of the bright light within each of us that gets dimmed by the restrictions imposed upon us by the expectations of society. So this is really interesting because I've just been working um, in a different group with the Exceeding Expectations cards uh, card that comes in this deck. So there's a message that's very clear here. She reminds me, she reminds us that in order to be fully present, we must uncover the light and let it shine brightly regardless of the perceived consequences so basically it's kind of saying be brave and go for it you know lovers says there might be a choice um the ancient wisdom card says you know deep down inside you know you have the knowledge wild woman says use the knowledge and be brave so the invitation with this card is when the wild woman comes dancing into your reading you're invited to shine brightly and to know your true self is being called out to engage in the world. This is a symbol of your long that your long held dream is beginning to take root and wants to be expressed. Your authentic self doesn't fit in a box. It needs the freedom to shine. It's time to have courage to step into the light. Wild Woman says shine brightly and dance with the band and be yourself. Let the great spirit decide what happens. You'll be happy you did. So it is a fortune favours the brave card. That's one of my favourite, favourite sayings, you know. Um, I'm kind of an Aries, so courage and bravery and all that stuff is, is quite um, a big deal to us. So it's all about that. So I've rambled on for quite some time already. So just to sort of surmise where we are. The weekend looks really good. It looks like there are choices to be made. It looks like there are opportunities. When you have a choice, that's an opportunity. You know, some people automatically go, oh no, I'm gonna have to choose. Oh, that's gonna do my head in. Don't see it that way. See it as I've got lots of options and that's gonna be great. And all I'm gonna do is pick the best one for me. Um, this says be brave and go for it. Be a wild woman or a wild man. You don't have to be a woman. Um, you know. Be that person that steps outside of the box. Be that person that shines brightly. Be that person who is willing and able to just go, do you know what? Going for it anyway. Um, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. It's, it's a really fabulous energy in these cards. So have a great weekend and I will speak to you on Monday. Bye for now.